guys and welcome to a haul. So uh, I have a few books to show you and some other things to show you so I'm just going to get straight on with it. Uh, so the first thing I have to show you is I brought the first three books in the Lorian Legacy series I think it is by Pittacus Law in the new covers. Um, are the first three books and as you can see the cellophane is still on them so I shall open them and show you. Oh, the cellophane is off. That's just a card. So yeah, the first three books in the Lorian Legacies, in the new covers, published by Penguin, which are gorgeous. So the first one is I Am Number Four, and I love the fact that it's, well, I don't really, because I have arachnophobia, but it's got spiders on it, which looks really awesome. And then number two is The Power of Six, which has bats on it. And number three is The Rise of Nine, which has like eagles and stuff on it. And then... And then there is uh, The Fall of Five and The Rule of Seven, I think it is. The Revenge of Seven, which you can see at the bottom there. So yeah, they're the first three books in the Lorian Legacies. Um, gorgeous covers. Spines all match. They look absolutely beautiful. They're all roughly the same size. And I'm not really sure what the books are about, but there was such a good deal that I had to get them. There were three for like, I think it was £7 or £8 in the works, which in the UK is like a discount book and art shop. So yeah, I thought they're such a good deal. I've never read them. They're the new gorgeous covers and spines. I shall get them. So yeah, I bought those. Um, so I'm just trying to find somewhere to put them now. Because my room is a bit of a mess, which is why you're at this... Wow! Crumbs. I dropped the book. Which is why you're at this angle, so you can't see the mess. Um, and then you may remember a little while ago, I showed you that I got The Menagerie, which is an absolutely gorgeous colouring book, full of amazing animal pictures to colour. So it's so big that it doesn't really fit in frame. And then I was in the works today and I noticed that the same people and the same artists who created this book have brought out another one called The Aviary. <clears throat> so naturally, I picked that up and it is gorgeous. And again, the pictures in it are amazing. Like, really amazing. So, yeah, that's the other thing I picked up. Um, I was then sent a book for review by Canon Gate, unsolicited, which is interesting because I've never had an unsolicited book before. Um, and this is The Lost Time Accidents by John Ray. The cover is amazing, like, let's just say that straight away, because it is. Um, and it's even gorgeous under the dust jacket, like, amazing. And this will be published on the 2nd of June in hardback. So I've actually got it pretty early. I think with unsolicited books, you get them earlier than ones that you request. But anyway, um, every moment that passes is a lost time accident. Close your eyes, children, when you want to stop time. So that's literally all it says on the back. But I'll read you the publication. The... Um, I forgot what this thing's called now, but anyway. So it says, Haunted by a failed love affair and the darkest of family secrets, Waldemar Waldy Tolliver wakes one morning to discover that he has been exiled from the flow of time. The world continues to turn and Waldy is desperate to find his way back. The Lost Time Accidents takes us from turn-of-the-century Viennese salon salons, buzzing with rumours about Einstein's radical new theory to the, depth, to the death camps of the Second World War. From the golden age of post-war pulp science fiction to a startling discovery in a modern-day Manhattan apartment packed to the ceiling with artefacts of contemporary life. So, it sounds awesome. It's about a guy who, like, has a failed affair and then gets cast out of the flow of time and has to, I presume, try and find his way back. So that sounds awesome. So thank you, Canon Gay, for sending me that. And like I said, published hardcover 2nd of June. 
So, yeah. Okay, now the next thing I want to talk about is a bit of a downer, but I think I need to talk about it. So, Amazon offer a service called Amazon Prime, which you can have a free trial of for 30 days, which is four weeks. Um, I had the trial for two weeks, and this morning, which is payday, um, I noticed that £80 was missing from my account. So I phoned up the bank, and they said, well, this sounds like it's a, um, <clears throat> an error with Amazon, um, so you need to phone them. So I phoned Amazon, I said, look, I've had the trial for two weeks, and you've just taken £80 out of my account, it's not even been four weeks. And I was on the phone for them two or three hours, um, and they apologised and said it was an error on their system, and that they were going to refund me that £79 uh, in two or three working days. So, I just wanted to mention that quickly, just to say that I'm never going to try a free trial again, because, I mean... If there's an error on Amazon's system, and you would think Amazon being a massive company, they're going to be tight and strict and um, taut on their regulations and restrictions and stuff, but clearly not, because they took £80 out of my account, I've only had the subscription for two weeks. So yeah, I phoned them, had a massive argument, basically I went off on a rant, and they were like, okay Mr Johnson, we will refund you the money, we're so sorry, and we will cancel your Amazon Prime membership, and I was like, yes please. So, I just wanted to mention that because it really frustrated me. Um, but I'm glad it's kind of getting sorted. So that was that. Let me know if that's ever happened to you because it was really frustrating. Um, anyway, the next thing is, this is a bit different from my channel. I have recently got the urge to get into like retro gaming. Sounds weird, but it's not. So, if you follow me on Instagram, um, which if you're not, you should be. Why are you not? Um, the Instagram, my Instagram handle will be here, so go follow me. Um, you will notice that I recently bought a Nintendo DSi, uh, so I could do some, like, retro gaming and stuff. Now, this console is really awesome. It has, like, a camera and a, a microphone, and yeah, it's just really awesome, and it's retro, and I love it. I currently have, I got a really good deal on it, I got it, the console with a case and 20 games, some boxed, some unboxed for like £30, which I thought was brilliant, but a lot of the games I did not enjoy, I spent yesterday putting them in and trying them out, and I gave them a fair chance each, but I sold quite a lot of them, so really I only have three left that I decided to keep, which are uh, James Patterson, James Patterson's Women's Murder Club, Games of Passion, which I've been playing, and it's bloody good. Like, excuse my language, but it's really good. It's kind of like a click and uh, find game, <clears throat> and it's in the book format, so I apologise for that. It's in the book format, so when you play it, you don't play it like this, you play it like this, and then there's stuff on the screens. So that's a good game. I then have CSI Dark Motives, which I presume is along the same lines. Um, and the graphics on this one look really good. So I'm excited to get going with that. And then I also have this Solitaire DS. And I've been playing Solitaire. I love Solitaire. And I've been playing it with this app, and it's really good. It has, like, over 100 versions of Solitaire. And most of them I've never heard of. I've only heard of, like, Klondike Solitaire. Um, which is the normal solitaire, spider solitaire, where you go red, white, red, black, red, black, red, black, and the one which is in a clock. I've forgotten what that's called. If you know what that's called, leave it down below so I can find it on here and play it. Um, yeah, so I got that as well. And I, like I said, because it's payday, I recently went on Amazon and purchased, I think it's five or six new games that I want to try for really good prices. You can get them for about like one or two pound with two pound postage and packaging in the UK so I brought a few of them so I'm gonna be trying them and stuff but what I was the whole point of me letting you know about my retro gaming and stuff is that I've now decided that at the end of next month because it's another five week month so it's a big payout 
I'm going to buy, I think I'm going to buy a PSP, a PlayStation Portable, with games and some movies. Um, but the whole reason I wanted to let you know about this was because I was thinking about starting a gaming, like a retro gaming channel. I know it sounds weird and not the kind of thing you'd expect from me, but I thought, you know, I gave it some thought and I was like, I could probably do this. So, uh, yeah, if you would like to see me do a retro gaming channel, let me know below. Uh, like I said, I'm going to get PSP at the end of May with some games and movies. And then obviously by that time I'll have loads more games for the DS. Um, and I'm not sure, but I might even buy another console, like a cheap one. Because you can get the PS Vita in a lot of secondhand shops for £18, which I think is a really good price. So yeah, let me know, um, and I will see what I can do. It's a little bit tricky because you have to like do it in the dark so you can see the screen clearly and stuff, and then I'll have to dub the sound over. But I'm gonna, I'll, I'll give it a try if you want to see it. So yes, thank you for watching. That is my interesting and different haul. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and yeah, I will see you again very soon. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wish, you may subscribe, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye!